Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Ghost Lives Report. I'm with you as always Ryan here from Tokyo, Japan. From time to time, good news does come out here in uh, the nuclear issue. And surprisingly enough, we, we find this positive development in the United States of America. Now, on August the 7th, federal nuclear regulators froze at least 19 final reactor licensing decisions in response to a ruling by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the U D.C. District that uh, spent nuclear fuel stored on site at nuclear power plants poses a dangerous long-term health and environmental risk. This comes from Environmental News Service. Now, in its ruling, as reported by the Environmental News Service, the appeals court it invalidated the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission's 2010 updates to the Waste Confidence Rule and also the Temporary Storage Rule and directed the Commission to fully compi comply with federal law. In response, the NRC today put a hold on nine construction and operating licenses according to the news source. Eight license renewals, one operating license, and one early site permit. Now, the court did note that after decades of failure to cite a permanent geological repository, which includes 20 years of working on a now abandoned uh, Yucca Mountain Repository in Nevada, the NRC, in the court's opinion, has no long-term plan other than hoping for a geologic repository. So, in the court's opinion, it is possible that spent fuel will be stored at nuclear sites on a permanent basis. So, that's pretty strong language coming from the federal courts. So, in the order today, in the order, uh, the five-member five NRC said, waste confidence undergirds certain agency licensing decisions. In particular, new reactor licensing and reactor license renewals. So basically, the court has said that you have totally failed to do what you are supposed to be doing, which is find a quote-unquote safe geologic place for spent fuel rods and other uh, nuclear waste. In response to that, as you can see, the NRC has fired back and said that the waste confidence rule prevents them from um, going forward of certain licensing decisions, um, in particular new reactors, which mean new nuclear power plants. Now, according to this report here, the NRC goes further, and they say because of the recent court ruling striking down our current waste confidence provisions, we are now considering all available options for resolving the waste confidence issue, which could include uh, generic or site-specific NRC actions or some combination of both. But they have said, we have not determined a course of action. So the courts have been able to freeze these final licensing decisions, but the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory uh, Commission really doesn't know what to do about it. Uh, they seem to be complaining here that because we have this issue of waste confidence, because people don't trust um, storing uh, waste on site, we can't have more reactors. So it's kind of in a way, it appears to me, they're blaming the courts, saying that this regulation gets in the way of us approving new licensing, new licensing renewals, 
because of this whole thing of where to put the waste. But you see here clearly that the courts are saying, you were told to find a ge geologic repository to store these hi highly dangerous waste materials. You've totally failed to do that. So now we're going to stop you from approving any more licensings until you resolve this. But the NRC doesn't have a plan. Does not have a plan. Now, how did this appeal come about originally was due to um, ongoing problems and issues with the Indian Port uh, Reactor, which sits along the uh, Hudson River. Now, the original person who brought this appeal was New York Attorney General Eric Scheider Hyman. Uh, please excuse me if I just destroyed his name. Uh, he originally brought legal action against the NRC because of his concerns about nuclear energy uh, relicensing applications for two reactors at the Indian Point power plant, which sits along the Hudson, Hudson River, as I said. And it's, it's in Buchanan, New York, which sits just 24 miles north of New York City, a very large metropolitan area. Uh, the energy license to operate Indian Port expires September 28th, 2013. So if this doesn't get if this doesn't get resolved by that date, that reactor is not going to be in operation anymore. Now, Scheider Hyman, again, excuse me again, said has said, according to the report here, the storage of nuclear waste at nuclear power plant facilities poses long-term health and environmental risk, including the risk of leaks from spent fuel pools and fires. Despite this, the NRC has refused my repeated request to address the serious risk of long-term on-site storage of nuclear waste in Indian ports relicensing proceedings. He goes on to say, In line to my recent federal appeals, court victory, and a related contention I filed last month in the relicensing proceedings, however, it appears that the NRC has finally changed course. Today, in a victory for the 17 million people living and working close to Indian Port, NRC has committed to addressing the risk posed by long-term nuclear waste storage at the facility before making any relicensing decisions. Okay, so I, I give the man credit for that, but he's... I don't know if he's trying to uh, develop confidence and get the movement going more forward here. But like I said, from what I've seen, it appears that the NRC simply fired back at the courts and blamed them that because of the waste confidence issue, they can't get things done. And they seem to be a little frustrated that they have to deal with this. And they're looking at combinations of on-site, off-site. They're looking at um, putting site-specific things on-site for these nuclear waste sitting there. And as this gentleman, the New York Attorney General has pointed out, there's a high risk of fires and leaks because there's no real clear standard from what I've looked up here. How, where to put this stuff, how to store it, how to dispose of it, and all this. So, there has been some positive movement in the United, in the United States on this, right? Now this, as we know, uh, Japan's political uh, oligarchs are heavily connected to the United States and heavily influenced by the United States. So to see this type of court ruling come out uh, may have some influence here in Japan. It depends on how the NRC in America reacts to this in the coming months and the type of things they start doing, the type of white papers they might release any hearings they have, it could possibly have a, a, um, an impact here in Japan. So you have to wait and see for that. All right? So we just want to get that news out of the way here. Very big news in my opinion. Uh, something that's really not being reported on all that much. So I thought I'd bring this up 
and point this out to everyone. Okay, I'll put some links in the you know, description box below of this video, so you can check this out for yourself. As always, please leave comments in the comment box below. Let's get a discussion started. Uh, if you have not subscribed, excuse me, to this channel, please do so. And as always, I want to thank you so very much for watching this video and all the videos that I've been making. Um, please feel free to go through the library and check out other vids that I've made in the past. Lots of good stuff there, I assure you. Uh, so until next time, this is me, Ryan, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Checking out.